Beginner, he struggles for hours and hours and hours trying to learn Blender, but he never gets anywhere. He just wastes all his time doing random things and never actually learning. Learning Blender is hard. So I created this 12 minute guide to get you a quick start into learning Blender. We're going to be going through the basics of the interface, object mode, edit mode, modifiers. Let's go. All right, step one, when you open up Blender, you're going to see this menu in the front, which is called the splash screen. So it has like the new version. It just has like a nice little render. First off, you can choose between left and right click select. There's not really an advantage over each of them. I personally use right click select because I started using Blender before left click select came out. I'm going to choose right. The hotkeys just change very slightly. If you want to see what I'm clicking, you can see it down in the right corner. Okay, so firstly, let's go over how to select stuff. So if you're in left click select, obviously you just click left and it'll select something. Uh, or if you right click select, select right. Uh, you can press A to select everything and then Alt A to deselect everything. So it will become orange when you select something and that's called the active object. Okay, cool. With the general interface of everything. So each one you can see is made up of a square. So you can see each one is just its own square. And at the top left of all of them, they'll have another square over here. And this chooses whichever menu. So like this one, you can see it's this icon, which is a 3D viewport. Uh, this one is the timeline. So you can basically like, go through the frame. This is your properties. So it has the properties for everything, your renders, your objects, so on. And this is just all your objects in your scene, which is called the outliner. Um, and you can change these. You can see I can change it to another 3D viewport over here. I can change it back to an outliner. Um, I can also resize everything. So you can just drag like if you have your mouse you can just drag when it becomes like a double arrow uh you can also just like right click and uh, horizontal split or virtual split and then you can split your scene and just right click and join areas like that uh when you want to move around uh, you can just use middle mouse button and that will orbit around your scene you can also use this little icon up at the top right and then just move around like this you can also go shift and middle mouse button and you can see that pans across so that just goes side to side. You can just move around like that. Uh, you can also use this little hand over here that also pans. So you can use either hotkey or the, the icons of the right. Then you can also obviously zoom. So you can just scroll uh, or you can hold control and middle mouse button or just use this little icon on the right. Now you also have views. So you can press like one, three and seven on your keyboard uh, and that will take you to front side of top view or you can just use these on the side. So that's very useful if you don't have a number pad, so you can use it either on here or on the top left of your keyboard. If you press this little icon, it will pop up with this little menu. You can choose the different views. Let's kind of go over the basics of object mode. Uh, so you can see in our 3D viewport, we in object mode up here in the top left. So what we can do in here is we can add objects, move everything around. We can set up like lighting and stuff that which we'll get to later. So firstly, uh, you can like select everything like this. You can delete stuff with X. And to add stuff back in, you just go shift A, you can choose a different like mesh. So I'm going to add in a UV sphere. So now you can see we have the sphere in our scene. Now you have three different operations on your object. You can move it, you can rotate it, and you can scale it. To move it, you press G as in like grab. You can go S to scale and then you can go R to rotate. Now what you're going to do is in these whenever, so let's just go G to move. You can also snap it to an axis. So you can see, so we have this orange line and this green line. So if I go scale and I can go X and now snapping to the red line, which is the X axis. You can do the same thing. So you can just press Y and then Z and it only goes along the Z axis. So you can also do the same thing. G move, Z to up and down, X to go side to side and then Y to go back and forth. Okay, cool. So every time you do an operation, say we scale it, uh, you can see it'll pop up with this menu in the bottom left. And now you can see you can drag and well, you can change all the different settings after you've actually done it. Cool. Now, whenever you have your object, if you move it, so say we just go G and X to move it across. Now, you can see this yellow dot in the middle. This is called the origin point. So if we press N and pull up the side panel, you can see our location has changed. And now you can see we can move it back and forth. It does the same thing if we rotate and scale. So you can see we have the rotation 0, 0, 0, scale 1, 1, 1. Okay, now if we go rotate this, you can see now the rotations change. And if we scale it, you can see the scaling changes as well. These can all be reset. So if I go Alt and R, you can see it clears the rotation. Uh, and you can see now it's 0, 0, 0. And if we go Alt and S, it resets the scale, clear scale. And if we go Alt and G, you can see it clears the location. 
So all of these can be reversed. And if, whenever you scale it, uh, you can see that it, it still it changes it and you can always just go alt s and redo it let me go introduce you to the basics of the edit mode i'm going to delete this with x and then go shift a add a cube just select your object go tab and you can go to edit mode now uh, before we carry on i'm going to quickly save my file so you can just go Control s so you have the same uh operation that you can do so i can go g x and i can go uh, scale I can go rotate okay now what makes this different is you can't reset it so if I go rotate this and I go alt r it doesn't do anything it doesn't change so it's always it's a it's a destructive thing so you can't reverse any of the, the operations that you do let me go through all the different tools and stuff that you can do if you go see at the top here we have a little dot we have a little edge and we have a face so it's called vertex edge and face mode uh, the hotkeys for this is one two and three at the top of your keyboard now you can see if i select now you can see i can select a whole face and i press two on my keyboard i can select an edge and press one i can just select a vertex so say i want to extrude a whole face so i go select this face and i'm going to click on this one over here extrude region you can see it pops up with this little plus sign drag this and you can see it extrudes it out uh, you can see in the operations tab it just has all the settings for it this so you can change them after the fact or you can just press uh if you back in this little tab and press e and then it will go there so e for extrude pretty simple we have the next one which is inset so this is uh we can click here and you can see it has a circle and we drag on it you can see it drags it in like this so you can do the same thing over here thickness uh, depth is basically how much it moves it in and out and has like a bunch of other settings uh don't really need right now so the, like the key band for this is I. So if I go select this face and I press R, you can see, there we go. So it insets. So the next one is bevel. So you can see over here, bevel, it just has this little line. And if you pull it, it you can see it starts beveling an edge. So this can be done with control B as well. So if I go select this face, control B, you can see it pulls it down like this. So beveling, what does it do? It basically just takes an edge and adds a little more there, like just rounds it out. Uh, you can just scroll up and then you can see that adds more edges to your bevel. You can also change the settings afterwards, the shape, you can change the segments, uh, you can change all the other settings here. Loop cut. So what loop cut does is if I go start moving my mouse around, you can see it has like these little yellow lines. This is adding a edge. So if we do, we just like hover over to a spot where we like, we just click it and there you go. And we can see we have the settings here. So you can change the amount of cuts. Uh, so if I go there, change the smoothness, just like round it out or not. Um, and if you're doing that, then you can change like how it works like this. So you get smoothness, number of cuts, and so on. Keybind for that is Control and R. You can see, so there we just left click, and then we can also choose uh, where it is. If you want to leave it, just press Escape, and it'll leave it in the middle. Then we have the knife tool, which is K on your keyboard there, and you can just basically start drawing on your mesh. And if you press enter, now if you go back to vertex mode with one, now we have all of these extra vertices over here. If we make a shape like this, we can just like extrude faces from it uh, like that. So all of these tools can be combined to make any objects that you want. Now, whenever you are using one of these tools, uh, at the bottom, it will have a bunch of settings while you're using them. If I take this face and let's say I'm going to insert it like this. Now it's added all of this to the top. So you can see we have enter, left click, cancel, escape or right click. Thickness, so if you move it, you can see the thickness changes. Depth, control to tweak, so you can see we can change the depth like that. The outset, so O, so you can see, so it changes that, so you can't change the thickness of it. Um, B for bound boundary, that only matters uh, when you're doing something else. And then individual is if you have like multiple different faces selected, if you press I and then individual, you can see it does it like this. Okay, so that is like what the settings and each of these will have its own settings at the top bar. Let's go on to some modifiers so we can change how our object looks without having to actually like change anything in edit mode. So all we do is to make sure you're in object mode again, uh, go to this little tab over here, the blue wrench, that is the modifier tab. Go add modifier and you can see it pops up with this huge list. It's, I know it looks very confusing, 
but it's pretty simple. So we don't really read these modifier ones right now. Uh, array, okay? So array will basically just like start uh, arraying your objects along. So you can just go change the amount. Uh, you can change like how much it's offset. Uh, this is very useful when you want to like, make an object and like do it along. Then we have the bevel, which does the exact same thing that bevel would do in edit mode. So let me show you on a different object. Let me add a cube. And if I go add a bevel, you can see it bevels edges like this. And if I start adding more segments, you can see now it's more round. Then we have like mirror. So mirror is very good if I'll show you here. We add a mirror modifier. And if we go to edit mode and start moving around, you can see now it's mirrored across. So if we're working on something, uh, it doesn't, we don't have to do both sides. You can click on clipping and then it will like join together. So you can see like this. So now if we start like extruding out, so this E to extrude, uh, it just does it like this. Okay, then we also have Slidivar, which will just go and add some thickness to your object. Um, so I can show you here if I delete this modifier, you can see so it just adds thickness to it. You click on even thickness to get it more uh, straight. Then we have the subdivision, which will basically just take your object. Uh, so if you see here, if I go add it, you can see, so we have this, vertices like this so we have here if i go subdivide you can see it just goes um it goes like one two one two one two so it's just doubling the amount of vertices that you have on your object and smoothing it all out now when you are adding all your modifiers you need to remember the order that you have all your stuff in uh, subdivision solidify the bevel so firstly if i go hard these you can click on the little monitor icon and that will hide each of them firstly we have this object that we created then if i add a subdivision you can see now it rounds it out solidify adds some thickness and then bevel will round out some of the edges now what happens if i move this up to the top so you can just click on this little like icon on the side drag it up and i can see it's changed drastically the shape of our object so now the reason is is because Firstly, we beveled the edges, then we subdivided it, and then we solidified. So you can see it changes it quite a bit. Now if I drag like solidify up, now you can see this it changes it a lot because you can, uh, so we have the solidify, then bevel, and then subdivision. So always keep in mind what the order of your stuff is. If you get stuck at any point throughout this video, make sure to check the link in the description. It's linked to my Discord. You can message me there or just get help from the rest of the community. Uh, hope to see you there. So now you know the basics of Blender but what to do next. Click here to learn exactly what to do.